Hello everyone and welcome back to the next lecture of control systems. In this presentation, we are going to discuss the time constant form of a control system. So let's get started. Before discussing the time constant form of a control system, we will first see the meaning of time constant of a system. The time constant of a system decides how fast or slow is the response of the system. So we can say that the time constant of a system decides the speed of the system. Suppose we are having a system in which we are giving an input and we are having an output. If the time constant of the system is high and we are giving an input to this system, then the response of this system will be slow. But on the other hand, if the time constant of this system is low and we are giving the same input, then we can see the response of this system will be fast. So now we can say that if the time constant of a system is high, then the response is slow or the speed of the system is slow. And if the time constant is low, then the response of the system is fast or we can say the speed of the system is high. So now we know that how the time constant of a system decides the speed of the system. And now we will move on to the definition of time constant. Time constant of a system is defined as the time required by the system to achieve 63.2% of the final value. It says that whatever the final value of the system is, the time required by the system to achieve 63.2% of that final value is the time constant of system. The time constant of a system is denoted by the letter tau. So now we are done with the time constant of a system. We will now define the time constant of a control system. So moving on to the time constant of a control system, we can say the time constant is the characteristic of a first order system. And it is defined as tau equal to minus of one over real part of pole location. Let's understand this with the help of an example. GS equal to 25 multiplied with S plus one over S plus five determine the time constant of this system. So we are given a system and we need to find out the time constant of the system. Moving on to the solution, we know that the time constant tau is equal to negative of one over real part of pole location. And in this case, we are having the pole at S equal to minus five. If we plot this pole in the pole zero diagram, we can have the pole at S equal to minus five. This is S equal to minus five. So if we substitute the value of real part of pole location in our formula, then we can get tau equal to minus of one over minus five. Minus five here is the real part of pole location. And in this way, we can get the time constant equal to 0.2 seconds. So we can say that the time constant of this function is 0.2 seconds. The unit of time constant is seconds. So now we are done with the time constant of a control system. This is just the introduction of time constant of a control system. We will solve many numericals related to this topic. We will now move on to the time constant form of a control system. The time constant form of a control system is the standard form of transfer function of a first order control system. And it is defined as GS equal to K over S tau plus one, where K is the DC gain of the system. We will discuss that what is the DC gain of a system and tau is the time constant. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Find the time constant of the function GS equal to five over S plus two. So we are given a system GS equal to five over S plus two and we need to find out the time constant. So moving on to the solution, we are given GS equal to five over S plus two, but this function is not in the time constant form. The time constant form is GS equal to K over S tau plus one, but it is not in the standard form. So to convert this function to standard time constant form, we will take two common from the denominator and we will have GS equal to five over two multiplied with S multiplied with one over two plus one. Now, if we compare this form with the standard time constant form, we can get the value of tau equal to one by two. So we have the value of time constant tau, which is equal to one over two, that is 0.5 seconds. Let's take one more example. 
The impulse response of a system is yt equal to 2 multiplied with e to the power minus 50 t ut. Find the time constant of the system. Now we are given the impulse response of the system and we need to find out the time constant of the system. So moving on to the solution, we are given yt which is the impulse response of the system is equal to 2 multiplied with e to the power minus 50 t ut. Now yt is the impulse response of the system so definitely the input is the impulse signal and we need to find out the time constant of the system so before that we will find out the transfer function of the system and we know the transfer function is the Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input. Laplace transform of yt that is the Laplace transform of 2 multiplied with e to the power minus 50 t ut will be 2 over s plus 50 and the Laplace transform of impulse signal is equal to 1. So if we take the ratio of these two Laplace transforms, we will get the transfer function equal to 2 over s plus 50. And now we need to find out the time constant of this system. But if we observe this system, it is not in the standard time constant form. To convert this system in the standard time constant form, we need to take 50 common in the denominator and we will have 2 over 50 over s over 50 plus 1. If we take 50 common from the denominator, we will get this function and now it is in the time constant form. If we compare this with the standard time constant form, then we will get the value of k equal to 2 over 50 and the value of time constant tau equal to 1 over 50. So the time constant tau for this system is equal to 1 over 50 seconds. So now we are done with the introduction of time constant form for a first order control system. In the upcoming lectures, we will see the time constant form for higher order control systems. I'll end this lecture here. See you in the next one.